guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Rafaela. I do beauty, fashion, lifestyle, vlogs and more. And today I'm back with a beauty video. Today I'm doing a makeup and skincare haul. Let's just get into the video. As some of you may know, I do not use non-cruelty free makeup, but I still haven't found um, like a good skincare routine that is cruelty free so if you have any suggestions please let me know the first thing I got was this La Roche Posay um, Yves Leclerc, Eva Claire, I don't, I do not know how to say this Duo Plus with SPF 30 I got this moisturizer for the morning time it looks like this it has SPF 30 so it's perfect for just using in the mornings. It says here it is a um, corrective, yeah, unclogging, unclogging care, anti imperfections, anti marks, anti UV. I've been using this for a couple days now, and somehow I can already tell a difference in my skin. My pimples aren't as harsh, my skin isn't as red and my scarring is kind of fading a little bit more and I'm just so happy since I got these for a morning moisturizer um, they gave me a couple samples and when I mean a couple I'm not saying actually just two I'm not saying three they gave me six samples of the I have a little one open here of the um, same Yves Claire Duo but without SPF so I can use this at night moving on I got this Avene Cleanness Purifying Mattifying Gel like washing gel okay so this is all written either in Portuguese, French or Spanish and I don't want to translate it but it says here it's for oily to oily skin with imperfection so this is exactly what I need uh, I still haven't tried this because I want to finish the one I have right now moving on to makeup I got these PS2 blender sponges from Primark. It was one euro and eighty. They are so so affordable. I always get them in Primark. They get super big. They are very fluffy. They do soak up a little bit of foundation, but I think probably any makeup sponge will do that. And it just gives a very natural, good, not streaky at all finishing to the skin which I really like then I went to Kiko they were having their midsummer yeah it's midsummer sale and I got this bright duo baked eyeshadow in the shade do, 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 do. oh I already said bright duo in the shade 6 it looks like this looks like this I've been looking for a brown like this for a long time now and I just love how I can just throw this in my purse and just apply a little bit of the brown then a little bit of the white eyeshadow let me just do some swatches on my inner corner and I would be good to go I honestly love doing those type of eye looks a little bit of bronzer on my crease some sparkly eyeshadow on my eyelid and then some um, this is what happens to me when I don't film for a long time I forget how to talk but I was trying to say something about using this shade on my inner corner I love putting some highlighter or some bright light eyeshadow on my inner corner so this is perfect to just these are the swatches and then I got these high pigment 
Wet and Dry Eyeshadow in the shade 111. I use this eyeshadow in brown a lot, almost every single day to do my natural looking eyeliner. This is a very brownish red shade. It's also sparkly, which I love. I love sparkly stuff. It's not sparkly, it's um, just... I'm, I'm gonna be very annoyed because I don't remember the name, like the word I want to say. But anyway, let's just move on. Okay, so in the camera it kind of looks a little bit more pinkish than it actually is in real life, but look how beautiful. I got this for 1 euro and 80. You heard me right, 1 euro and 80 cents. Amazing. Very, 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 very good deal. Shimmery, shimmery. That's what I was trying to say, shimmery. Then the last thing I got is this sparkly, sparkle eyeshadow from the Holiday Gems collection. This is their Christmas collection from last year, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's from last year um, because the year before I think they had um, the red one, I think. I love this packaging. I think this looks so elegant, so cute. I just, I would prefer if it was a little bit heavier because it's very plasticky and like the weight of this you can tell it's not very good quality but the look of it says otherwise so pretty uh, by the way this is in the shade 3 Bordeaux Garnet 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 I don't know and it looks like this I almost feel sad about using this because this is just so pretty this is very I wouldn't say it's sparkly, again, very shimmery, very glowy. Compared to this one, I would say it has more of a purpley undertone. It's a lot more shimmery and reflective. I would say it almost has a metallic finish. It's very creamy. It's like weirdly creamy. Just, I, I don't even know how to describe this, but this is it's good, it's just weirdly creamy, you know, but I love this. Okay, then I went to Essence and I got this Essence Soft and Precise Lip Pencil in the shade 5, Legendary. And it's just a pinky nude. I mean, I'm still on the look for a um, brownish lip liner, but for now I will be using this Essence one. It's not very brown, but it's it's actually it's the exact same shame same shade as my natural lip color. And the last thing I got, this is probably the thing that I'm most excited about. This is Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation with hyaluronic acid and it's long wear. Ta -da! It looks like this. I've seen Tati doing a video about this foundation and she loved it like she loved it so so much and i really trust her when it comes to foundation she's just like foundation or any makeup honestly she's probably one of my favorite ever makeup gurus on youtube so yeah i love catrice foundations too i've been using them for years and years and years and I'm just so excited about this one. By the way, I will be doing a testing out first impression video on this foundation. So if you like to see that, just subscribe. By the way, this is a very good quality packaging. It's glass. Can you hear this? I cannot believe this was just seven euros and 99. Like it was eight euros. A foundation this big this 
good of a packaging this just I have very high hopes for this one and I got this in the shade 10 cool cashmere this is their lightest shade and I always go for their lightest shade sometimes if this is anything like their other foundations Sometimes I will have to mix a little bit of my Body Shop shade adjusting drops to match my skin shape, but I don't know. I have anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you very very soon on my next one.